Hello everybody. Let's talk about the pharyngeal apparatus. A bit of embryology this time, right? Once again, welcome to Let's Talk Anatomy. So, the pharyngeal apparatus starts developing early in the fourth week of the development of the embryo and it starts as a series of surface elevations which appear in the region of the head and the neck. So, let's look at this picture and we have, we can see the surface elevations, four of them are numbered branchial arch 1, 2, 3 and 4. These arches develop from migrating neural crest cells which reach the region of the head and the neck. And since they appear very similar to the gills of embryonic fish or even adult fish, they are called branchia or which comes from the Greek word for gill and therefore, therefore they are also called branchial arches. Now let's take a section and see what the arches look at, look like from inside. So we are going to cut the embryo here in that plane and we just move it a little bit to this side and look at the open embryo and you can see the embryo cavity or embryonal cavity. You can see on the top there the brain cavity and below that the larger cavity is your oral cavity lined by the endoderm and the posterior most circular cavity that you see there is for the spinal cord. Now let's zoom it and try to label the parts. The arches are very clear. You can see a lot of labeling, but don't worry about it. We'll see each of these components one by one. So let's move this and look at a picture which is more familiar to us as the one we see in most textbooks, which is this. And now you know that the picture on the right side is actually what you see when you cut the embryo across, right? So now let's look at the components of the pharyngeal arches. So initially there are six arches. But then the fifth arch becomes rudimentary and eventually disappears. So totally there are only five arches. One, two, three, four and six. Five arches but they are numbered according to their origin. So it is not one, two, three, four and five. It is one, two, three, four and six. So a typical pharyngeal arch consists of what structures? This line down the outside by the ectoderm obviously which forms the outer covering of the embryo and on the inside you have the endoderm which lines the pharyngeal cavity. In between these two layers as we all know there are three embryonic layers and the middle layer is the mesoderm and the pharyngeal arch also has a mesodermal core. But each arch has got four components as you can see here. There is a cartilaginous rod which forms a skeleton of the arch. Then there is a muscular component which gives rise to a muscle. Each arch has an aortic arch artery which supplies blood to all the components within the arch. And each arch has a nerve which supplies all the structures which are developing from the components of the arch. So every arch has all these four structures, a cartilage, a muscle component, an artery and a nerve. There are a few terms that I would like to introduce to you as part of this class and part of learning pharyngeal arches. So let's label it. There is ectoderm on the outside and endoderm on the inside. The endoderm forms certain outpouchings laterally between the adjacent arches as you can see those blue part blue structures over there and these outpouchings are what are called pharyngeal pouches. So there are four pharyngeal pouches and the fifth one is rudimentary. Similarly, on the outside you have corresponding pockets of ectoderm and these pockets are called pharyngeal clefts or grooves. So these are the pharyngeal grooves or clefts. They are corresponding to the pouches but they lie on the outside and they are formed by the ectoderm. The pouches and the clefts and grooves form the boundaries between adjacent arches from above downwards. Lastly, if you look at this part, you can see there are no components over there, the pink regions, but here you have the endoderm and the ectoderm closely approximating and these regions where these are just separated by a thin layer of mesoderm are called pharyngeal membranes. So what constitutes a pharyngeal apparatus? The pharyngeal apparatus like, it, like we have read in textbooks consists of four structures, the pharyngeal arches, the pharyngeal pouches, the pharyngeal grooves and finally the pharyngeal membranes. All of this constitutes the pharyngeal apparatus. So that is it, a brief review of pharyngeal arches. In the next video, we will see what are the derivatives of 
Vanigel Arches. Thank you.